Hello, and welcome back to the Scary Stories channel. Tonight's scary story is about a summer camp with a very disturbing rule book. So, without further ado, here is our narrated scary campfire stories. Hey guys, did anyone here go to Camp Golden Oak? It's a long shot to reach out here, but I'm pretty sure my mind's playing some sort of trick on me, and I'd like to know I'm not suddenly losing it after years of that place not even crossing my mind. Let me back up. Camp Golden Oak was a summer camp in Michigan that took place from June to August for kids 10 to 13. I went there all three years that I could, and up until a few days ago, I only remembered a few bits. Making friends, playing in the crafts room, having the counselor tell spooky stories at night around a fire. You know, the fun parts. I was doing some spring cleaning when I found a box of things from when I was a kid. It was tucked away behind the skis I said I'd throw away three years ago. It was full of participation medals, report cards, school pictures, and that sort of thing. I also found an old school folder labeled Camp Golden Oak. I expected it to be full of pictures and not much else, but I found a lot of things. Pamphlets, notices for counselors, and on a piece of folded up paper signed by the owners of Golden Oak, I found the camp rules. I think the papers were given out during the first week, but I don't remember these at all. There's some water stains on it, but it's still readable. I've written what it says below, and yeah, it's freaking weird. If anyone has any input on this, feel free to offer it. I'm just really confused right now, and a little creeped out. At Camp Golden Oak, we want you to have all the best experience you can. Just follow the rules below to help keep everyone safe and having fun. Number one, always listen to your counselor. For this week, they're your teacher, your leader, and most importantly, your friend. Don't be afraid to come to them for help. They are here to listen. Number two, be kind to your fellow campers and never be afraid to make new friends. Be respectful. Remember the golden rule. Number three, when on a nature hike, don't wander off the trail, even if you see something that catches your eye. No one wants to be a lost camper. Number four, never waste food. Clean your plate. If you have special food requirements due to religions or allergies, don't be afraid to tell chef. He'll make a special plate just for you. Number five, please don't start food fights. Sometimes things can get confusing and exciting, and sometimes someone can get hurt. Number six, please don't start paint fights in the art center. Again, people can get hurt. Number seven, no going out after dark. There are bathrooms in your cabins if you have an emergency. Do not leave the cabin under any circumstance, even if you hear someone calling your name outside, even if it sounds like a friend. Number eight, if you get locked out after lights out, immediately head to the cafeteria. Chef will put you up for the night, no questions asked. Don't be afraid to come clean. If you hear someone call your name while you're out, again, keep walking. Don't turn around. Number nine. We at Camp Golden Oak are open-minded and happy to accommodate any camper from any background. However, we do not allow religious jewelry, crosses, stars of David, pentagrams, etc. to be worn on the grounds. Any form of religious writing must be examined during check-in. If we deem it necessary, it'll be held in Mr. Brahm's office for the weeks you stay at Camp Golden Oak. Don't worry, it won't be stolen. It'll be locked in an airtight safe. Number 10. If you have any belongings you're afraid of being stolen, you can turn them in at check-in and they'll go in the same airtight safe mentioned above. Number 11. Please do not pray out in the woods. We understand it feels like a reverent place, but it just isn't safe. Pray in your cabins, in the cafeteria, and anywhere indoors, but do not pray to any form of deity outdoors where anyone or anything can hear you. Number 12. The horse corral is a fun place, but only if you follow the rules. Be quiet, be courteous, and mind the horses. They are beautiful and wonderful creatures but they must be respected. Number 13. If for some reason you find yourself outdoors and unable to find the cafeteria, 
under no circumstances are you to go to the horse corrals. The horses may sound like they're frightened or that something's wrong, but they're in no danger. Number 14. Do not go into the marsh. Number 15. If during an activity a camper you don't recognize joins in, ask their name and what cabin they stay in. If they are unusually pale with blue lips, are unable to look you in the eyes, do not give their name. Change the subject and ask for your name. Tell you they stay in cabin 16, 19, or 21. Immediately end the conversation and tell your counselor that there is a lost camper in your group. They will end the activity and likely take you to the cafeteria. The chef will keep you safe until the situation is handled. Number 16. Under no circumstances do you tell a lost camper your name. Under no circumstances do you follow them to any of the following locations. Any of the mentioned cabins above, they are unused and unsafe. The horse corral, the marsh, the arts and crafts room. Number 17. If one of your cabin mates goes missing, tell your counselor immediately. We may be able to save them from becoming a lost camper. Number 18. If you feel anything is not right, anything at all, tell your counselor. Number 19. If you feel your counselor can no longer be trusted, talk to the chef. Number 20. And remember to have fun. So, what exactly is going on at this so-called camp? Have you read the rule book of your club, camp, or association? Are there dark secrets being hidden from you? Is there something malevolent just outside your tent, cabin, or even your home? These are good thoughts to ponder as you are going to sleep tonight. So as always, good night, sleep tight from the Scary Stories Channel.